Hi kids! Welcome to our Bible True Stories. I'm Teacher Dest and I will be your Bible True Storyteller this morning. And the story is about Noah's Ark. In Genesis chapter 9 verses 13 to 15, it says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds. And it will be a sign of the covenant. Never again will the waters become a flood. Many years had passed since the day Adam and Eve were forced to leave the Garden of Eden. The world was full of people who had become very weak. They never prayed or thought about their heavenly Father. God's heart became full of pain and he was sorry he had ever created them. So the Lord said, I will destroy these people whom I have created. But there was a man named Noah who loved the Lord with all his heart. When everyone else had become selfish and mean, Noah and his family walked with the Lord. God was pleased with Noah and said, I am going to send a great flood upon the earth to destroy every living thing. Only you and your family will be saved. God told Noah to build a large boat called an ark. Out of gopher wood, the ark would have many rooms and a roof over the top to keep out the water. The Lord said, This ark should be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet tall, and have three decks. Now we're going to bring two of every kind of bird and beast, male and female, into this ark. Noah did all that God had asked him to do. So Noah, together with his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and his wife and his son's wives, built the ark. They brought plenty of food aboard for themselves and the animals to eat. Soon, the animals came to Noah and were loaded into the ark two by two. Then God said to Noah, Go into the ark, or it will rain in seven days. Noah did all the Lord commanded. Seven days soon passed. The skies darkened, the thunder crashed, and the rain began to fall. With two of every living creature aboard, God shut the door on Noah and his family. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The water rose higher and higher, floating the ark high above the earth. Every living thing perished, only Noah and those with him in the ark were left. The earth was flooded for 150 days. But God's watch care was upon Noah and his family. God sent a warm heavenly breeze to dry the earth. Soon, the ark came to rest in mountains of Ararat. Noah waited 40 days before he opened the window. He sent out a raven. There was no dry place for the bird to land. Then he sent out a dove, but the dove couldn't find no dry place and returned to the ark. Noah waited seven more days before sending the dove out again. This time, the dove returned with an olive leaf in its beak. A sign that there was dry land, Noah waited seven more days and again sent the dove out. But this time, the dove did not return. Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark, 
with your wife and your sons and their wives and all the animals. Noah was thankful God had saved his family. So he built an altar to please the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my family. You are a wonderful God. God promised me I'll never again to destroy the world with flood waters. As a sign of his promise, he set a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And the Bible truth this morning is, I will trust God's promise. Say it with me, kids. I will trust God's promise.